Was there was other clubs involved? There yeah, was, was, was Fiorentina, was, 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 was Man United, Manchester United. So my agent was Paul Stretford. Yeah. Paul Stretford at that point, he's, he still looks after Wayne Rooney's yeah. career, 20 years on. Um, my, so he was my agent at Nottingham Forest towards the end. And famous phone call happens. Again, decisions change things, other people's decisions. I had a phone call f driving from Nottingham and the phone rang and it was Stretford. He said, I've got somebody who wants to speak to you. I'm under contract with Nottingham Forest. All right, big man, Fergie, yeah, so Alex Ferguson, I'm like, it, 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 what you, is this a wind-up? Up? Yeah. And I stopped the car on the roundabout, there's a few garages there near Derby County Cricket Club. And he said, would love you to come. He said, be patient, it'll happen. And I'm like, amazing. At that time, Fergie, around two or three days later, called Frank Clark and Frank Clark told his secretary, Carol, blank the calls. Just ignore the calls. Because Frank didn't know what to do at that point. He didn't know whether to accept a, an offer. Yeah. I was under contract, so I didn't have to sell me. There was no sort of free... Uh, the Bosman, I don't think, had even started at that point. Um, and I remember Paul Stretford saying, don't worry, it's all happening. Back of the Nottingham Post, Stan Collymore this week will sign for Man United. I'd just been to Old Trafford and scored the first goal in this win. That had, so it was all on. Then I didn't hear for, from Stretford for about five days, which was very unusual because he was my agent. We spoke yeah. every day. I mean, it was a very sort of close relationship. And I was ringing him, leaving messages and what have you. Five days, I'm like, this is super unusual. So turn on Sky Sports News like most players do when yeah. it comes to Andy Cole, breaking news, signs for Manchester United. I mean, and that, at that time, was the equivalent of, I don't know, Harry Kane going to Arsenal yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow. Of course, yeah, yeah. Um, and the story I was told was, is that Fergie called Frank for the third or fourth time, said, bugger this, I'm not going to bother anymore. Has a phone call with Kevin Keegan about Keith Gillespie. Yeah. Keegan wanted Gillespie. And at the end of the conversation... Um, Keegan says, yeah, great, we'll sort the deal, Keith Gillespie coming here, fantastic, I'll, I'll speak to you later, Alex. And Fergie said, in his own autobiography, I thought I'd just ask him about Andy Cole, expecting him to turn around and turn to get lost. Yeah. He said, what about Andy Cole? And Keegan went quiet for about four seconds and Fergie knew, said, I knew I had him wow. then. He said, because... A manager that was desperate to keep his player under any circumstances says, Come straight back, yeah. laughs. Or, yeah. He said, that pause, I knew. And if you remember, Kevin Keegan had to go out onto the steps. steps. Of, yeah. He's like, Geordie Nation, yeah. trust me yeah. or I go. Yeah. Um, and I was devastated. Paul Stretford eventually called me. And after a few expletives were exchanged, and he just turned around and he said, I'll get you Liverpool. To listen to the full episode of Lifting the Lid, the official Emirates FA Cup podcast, hit the link in the description or click on the card on the screen and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts.